Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bosch needs no introduction. Perhaps the most charismatic and uncompromising of the top-notch freedom fighters, he remains one of India's most revered icons, with every political organization trying to shine in his reflected glory. In fact, such is his charm on people's minds that a section of Indians believe that he is still alive and will return some day to liberate us from our misery. Although all major biographies of Netaji have concluded, he passed away on the night of 18th August 1945 after being grievously injured at the aeroplane crash at Taihuku Airport. Many find this unacceptable. They believe it was a ploy set up by Netaji himself to hoodwink the Allied forces and reach a safe place to continue his struggle. Others believe that Netaji, a lifelong political activist, became a recluse and settled in northern India. And yet, another set are convinced he was betrayed by Nehru and Gandhi, the usual suspects nowadays, and imprisoned in some Soviet gulag. Today, it is an undeniable tragedy that these never-ending theories have eclipsed the life and achievements of this prince among patriots. He has been reduced to a mystery thriller. Of course, all theories must stand the test of investigation, and in recent years, two incidents allow us to freshly probe them. In 2015, the West Bengal government released a set of files related to Netaji and his family from the state archives. The declassification of 304 Netaji files from the various central ministries followed soon after, in January 2016. In contrast to popular belief, these central files were not the only batch to be released. Rather, they were the last lot. Government of India had in fact released a total of 2,324 files since 1997 and has since categorically declared in Parliament on 2nd March 2016 that there are no more classified Netaji files in its archives. To any enthusiastic student of history, these files present a wealth of data that show how several independent investigations have been conducted into what happened to Netaji in August 1945. It is imperative that these findings of these investigations be presented to the Indian people. The first Indian investigation into the air accident was by Harin Shah, war correspondent of the Free Press Journal Bombay. Shah visited Taihoku in September 1946 to investigate the reported death of Netaji in a plane crash. He published his findings in his book, Verdict from Formosa, Gallant End of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. One of the most important highlights from Shah's investigative journalism was the testimony of San P. Shah, a nurse at the Nanmon Hospital. She confirmed the account recorded by Figgis in September 1946. She said, He died here. I was by his side. He died on 18th August last year, Chandra Bose. I am a surgical nurse and took care of him till he died. I was instructed to apply olive oil all over his body and that I did. Whenever he regained briefly his consciousness, he felt thirsty. With slight groaning, he would ask for water. I gave him water several times. She then took Harin Shah to the southwest corner of the ward and to the bed where Bose had passed away. The members of the Indian Independence League, IIL, the civilian administrative wing of the Provisional Government of Free India, carried out an investigation based on circumstantial evidence and individual contact. It brought out a report in 1953 after conducting sustained investigation in dif different parts of East Asia. The IIL agreed with the previous reports that Netaji had passed away on 18th August 1945, but it concluded that the aircraft crash had not been an accident, but an act of sabotage.
According to the IIL, Japanese officials could neither risk shielding Netaji from the Allies lest he resurfaced, nor hand him over to them and endanger relations with Indians. So, to save herself from the wrath of both India and the occupation forces, Japanese officials first diverted the route of Netaji's plane, separated him from five of his six associates and let only one to travel with him. Incidentally, Japan still keeps three Netaji files as secret while rest of the countries have declassified all.